Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice Support video. In this video we'll show you what comes in the box with the IC XC0432 Digital Weather Station with a monochrome display. The IC XC0432 Station Kit includes a wireless 5-in-1 outdoor sensor with a self-emptying rain collector for measuring rainfall, an anemometer, wind vane and temperature and humidity sensors. The station comes completely assembled for easy setup and can transmit data to the indoor console up to 150 metres away. The indoor display shows all collected data from the outside, plus indoor temperature and humidity. What's more, the station allows users to set alerts and alarms, view the rainfall rate and daily, weekly and monthly records, view wind chill, heat index, dew point, comfort levels, a 12 hour forecast and storm warnings. In the box there is a mounting pole, a mounting base, a complete user guide, a clamp for the mounting base, mounting hardware, the indoor display with an extra large monochrome LCD, below the LCD are six buttons, these are history, max min, rainfall, barometric pressure button, wind button and the index button. A snooze light button is on the top. On the back of the unit there's a keyhole hook for mounting, the clock, alarm, alert, up selection and down selection buttons, the Celsius Fahrenheit slide switch, scan and reset buttons and at the bottom is the battery compartment. Also in the box there's the table stand for the indoor display and the pre-assembled outdoor sensor suite with wind cups for measuring wind speed, the wind vane for measuring wind direction, the temperature and humidity sensors located under a solar radiation shield, a station direction alignment indicator, the bubble level, antenna, rain gauge. Beneath the rain gauge is the drainage holes to empty the measured rain, the battery compartment, the area for the mounting pole, reset button and an LED status indicator light. Last of all, instrument choice includes the required batteries. This is six AA batteries. To get started, install the batteries into the outdoor sensor. Unscrew the battery door at the bottom of the unit and insert the batteries according to the priority indicated. Screw the battery compartment door on tightly, ensuring the O-ring remains seated. The red LED will begin flashing every 12 seconds. Next, install the three AA batteries into the indoor console. And replace the battery door. After insertion of the batteries, the display unit will automatically search and connect to the wireless 5-in-1 sensor. Once connection is successful, the antenna mark and readings for outdoor temperature, humidity, wind speed, wind direction and rainfall will appear on the LCD. On the first section of the LCD, you can see the time, moon phase, date. Under the indoor section, there's a comfort indicator as well as indoor humidity and temperature. Alert and alarm icons appear in the center when set. Under the outdoor section, there's a signal strength indicator as well as the outdoor humidity and temperature readings. Alert and alarm icons appear in the center when set. And last of all, in the bottom section, there's a 12 hour forecast icon. These are the available icons and what they indicate. Next is the barometer. This has an absolute or relative indicator, selected barometer measurement unit, barometer reading and histogram. In this section, you can select to view the rainfall reading and historical records with a histogram as well. Next is the wind direction and wind speed icon. This displays the current wind direction, wind direction for the last hour, wind speed, wind level, Beaufort scale reading, average and gust indicator, selected wind speed unit, and the high alert and alarm icon will appear in this section if set. And lastly, in the bottom corner, you can select to view either wind chill, heat index, or indoor dew point. And that's what comes in the box, and a quick overview of the ICXC0432 digital weather station with monochrome display. To watch a video setup demonstration or to speak with an instrument choice scientist for more information, see the links and further details in the video description. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.